Hello, in this video, I will introduce you to the basics of chromatogram integration in Clarity. Integration means finding the peaks in a chromatogram, figuring out where each one starts, where it ends, and how large it is. These values are essential for quantification. In the chromatogram window, go to the integration tab. Clarity offers two integration algorithms, Wave and Legacy. In this video, we will work with the Wave algorithm but the main process is the same for both. Now, let's go through the typical process of integrating a chromatogram in Clarity. Each step will be demonstrated briefly and explained in more detail in dedicated videos. Step 1. Set the integration interval. This defines the time range that you want to analyze. Anything outside this range will be ignored. After using an integration function, Clarity adds new row to the integration table with values based on the selection made in the graph. These values can be edited manually if needed. Step 2. Make sure to enable the detect negative function, if your chromatogram contains negative peaks. Step 3. Adjust the global integration parameters to set how peaks are detected in the entire integration interval. These are, global peak width, to indicate the narrowest peak, and this value is used to determine the global bunching, global threshold, to determine the noise level, Global Baseline Slope, to adjust peak starts and ends. Ideally, these steps should be sufficient for peak integration, but if needed you can continue with more specific operations. Step 4, Apply Local Parameters which only apply to selected time ranges. Clarity will help you suggest the suitable value. Step 5. Use baseline or peak-specific integration parameters to fine-tune the integration of your typical peaks if needed. Each row in the table represents one integration event. The order of operations is important, events are applied from top to bottom. If you're working with a multi-signal chromatogram, each signal has its own integration table, so you need to adjust integration for all of them. Now, when the integration suits your typical chromatogram, you can transfer a finished integration table into the method used for measurement or other chromatograms. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, check our YouTube channel.